May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. October 15, 2024 Memorial of St. Teresa of Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians Brothers and sisters, for freedom, Christ set us free, so stand firm, and do not be willing to be again held by the yoke of servitude. Behold, I, Paul, say to you, that if you have been circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. For I again testify, about every man circumcising himself, that he is obligated to act according to the entire law. You are being emptied of Christ, you who are being justified by the law. You have fallen from grace. For in spirit, by faith, we await the hope of justice. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision prevails over anything, but only faith which works through charity. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy also come upon me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for in your words have I hoped exceedingly. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. So shall I always keep your law, forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I walked at large, because I have sought after your commandments. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. I meditated also on your commandments, which I loved. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. And I lifted up my hands to your commandments, which I loved, and I was exercised in your justifications. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee asked him to eat with him. And going inside, he sat down to eat. But the Pharisee began to say, thinking within himself, Why might it be that he has not washed before eating? And the Lord said to him, You Pharisees today clean what is outside the cup and the plate, but what is inside of you is full of plunder and iniquity. Fools! Did not he who made what is outside, indeed also make what is inside? Yet truly, give what is above as alms, and behold, all things are clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Are there areas in your life where you might be focusing on appearances, instead of what truly matters in your heart? After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees! Although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside, you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Luke 11 verses 37-40 It's hard to imagine Jesus calling someone a fool. But that's exactly what he did. This Pharisee had just finished listening to Jesus give a series of teachings, and then invited our Lord to his home for dinner, in an apparent gesture of kindness. But as the passage unfolds, it's clear that this Pharisee is no friend of Jesus. Instead, his hospitality and kindness are a cloak for the evil within his soul. 
Why does Jesus respond so fiercely, calling the Pharisee a fool? Because this Pharisee is filled with hypocrisy. His exterior actions do not flow from a heart filled with charity and faith. Instead, his exterior actions are a show. He is a fraud. He, like many of the Pharisees, was very concerned with various external rituals, such as scrupulously washing his hands before he ate. He believed that doing so was a sign of his holiness and closeness to God. But it wasn't. His heart was one that was filled with judgment and self-righteousness. He looked down on others and elevated himself. In doing so, he deceived others and even deceived himself. The central message we must take from this is that we must diligently focus upon that which is in our hearts. Our hearts, our interior life, must be blooming with love of God and others. We must place all of our efforts on cultivating a sincere life of virtue within. This is done by prayer and humility. Humility will open our eyes to see the truth of who we are. Prayer will strengthen us to change as we see that which needs to be changed within. Only then, when we see clearly the truth of who we are, and prayerfully rely upon grace obtained by prayer, will we be able to become people of true integrity and holiness. And only then will our interior holiness be made manifest externally in our actions. Reflect today upon these powerful words of Jesus, you fools. Don't be offended by these words, they are words of love from our Lord. They are his fierce attempt to wake this Pharisee up and lead him away from his hypocrisy. Listen to these words as if they were also spoken to you. Every one of us can humbly benefit from this loving chastisement from Jesus. Every one of us needs to humbly be transformed more fully interiorly. Let Jesus' words speak to you and reveal to you the ways that you need to change. Perhaps your pride has led you to an interior practice of judgment of others. Perhaps it has blinded you to sins that you need to confess. If you can listen to these words as if they were spoken to you, then Jesus' fervor will reach you, and your eyes will be opened to that which is in your soul that needs to be changed. Do not turn a blind eye to this. Be open, be humble, and listen. Let us pray. My fervent Lord, you spoke words of love in many ways. At times you were gentle, and at times you were firm. Please give me the grace and humility I need to be open to your firm rebukes of love. Help me to sincerely see the ways in which I need to change my life so that your grace will transform my interior life, flowing over into my actions. I love you dear Lord. Help me to love you more. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.